Hey guys, thanks for watching Cow Gaming TV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build an artificial wheat farm. So, um, before we begin, uh, I'm going to be just showing you pretty much the final product, so you kind of get an idea of what we're doing. So, um, this is what the outside looks like. You can decorate it however you want. Um, this is how I just put it. So, um, pretty much how it looks from the top is you'll have layers of wheat. It can be any distance. Um, I picked this, but, you know, you go with whatever you want to go with. Um, so pretty much now you can go inside the building, there'll be a chest somewhere, um, and you'd come in, the main room would be like this with, uh, hoppers. Um, pretty much I can just press this button, and as you can see, the food starts falling straight into the hoppers. And it will not take too long, it will increase the time though, the, the more wheat you have. So, um, we can click that, and as you can see, the, uh, water will start evaporating of such. Um, okay, so, then we can come in here, and we have it slowly filling up. Well, actually, it's kind of a good rate, but, yeah, so this is pretty much how it's gonna work. So, um... Yeah, um, I'll see you guys back in just a minute. Okay, so um, how we're going to start is, first of all, you're just going to build a tower up where you want to build your farm. Uh, it does not really need to be specific high. It can literally be all the way up there. Just remember, especially for if you're on the uh, older consoles, that redstone can only do so much. So, um, crap. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to build a, uh, kind of a platform, and my old platform was kind of like a 3x3x3x3, three by three by three by three. so, but this time I'll do a 5x5x5x5, five by five by five by five. Yeah, you'll see what I mean. So, um, yeah, oh wait, actually. Okay, so pretty much what you want to do is you want to build a square. Um, or, or rectangle if you really want, um, uneven sides. It really doesn't matter. I like doing squares because it will keep a nice even pillar in the center, um, which helps it not fall out of place, and thus less hoppers. But you can do whatever. So, um, what we're going to do is we're then going to build a second layer to, uh, the fives. We're, we're going to leave the corners alone. Okay, and then we're just going to continue this process as this is going to be your levels of farm. So, build as many as you want. It really does not matter. There is no limit. Okay, so I'm going to go up one last layer and then I'll continue. Okay, so um, then you're just going to kind of, now you're going to build up the walls, like right next to the farm area. The, pretty much this is going to stop the crops from falling off the sides of your platform, which would entirely suck. Okay, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to simply add dirt on the uh, little 
on the layers, pretty much. You're going to leave your um, tallest layer, or, well, yeah, just leave your tallest layer um, without dirt, as I have, like, right here. Leave this top part without dirt. Okay, so now I have the whole place covered in dirt. So now you're going to get a dispenser, and you're going to place dispensers all facing towards the dirt, aligning every slot that there is dirt on. Okay, so now that I have this, um, I'm going to go ahead and start building the bottom part. So, let's see. Need to. Now, I'd recommend building a square or whatever in the center, just to kind of block off everything so it does not fall through the center. It will save you a lot of hoppers at the end. So, yeah, it's your choice, though. Do whatever you want. Okay. Um, so... You just probably want to uh, build this up just a little higher. You can also do this in layers if you want to copy this top part and build it up and up. Uh, you can do that, and this middle part will help you do that. So, just if you are doing that, just I'll explain what you need to do later. Just yeah, but anyway. Oh crap! I dropped the block. Um, okay, so now that I have this. I can move on to coming down here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to dig two blocks. Like you're going to build a two block wide uh, hole around your center podium. Okay. Um, so now that you've done this, go ahead and choose where your chest, where you're going to be storing your stuff is going to be. I'm going to choose right here. So, and then I'll build, like, I don't know, you can build a doorway or anything. It really doesn't matter. Like, you could literally have this be the room itself. Okay, so I'm not going to waste your guys' time with decorating and all that, so uh, now we're going to move on. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to then get a hopper. And you have to do this in a specific way. Um, so pretty much you're going to fill the whole place. I, I, I guess if you don't want to mine the dirt originally. Um, but I do that just so I can keep track of the, uh, every place specifically I have to go. Um, but, yeah, so, pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in the back, like on the opposite side of where you're gonna exit to get to your chest. And you're gonna be building your hoppers. And hoppers work like, they need to be touching the block, so if I place it, on top of the side of that block, it will push the thing towards that block. So, just keep that in mind. Okay, and then I'm going to go on to the other side. Um, and I must... Okay. Um, and then you're going to do that. Okay, so, um, 
while we're doing okay so now that you have these last two block or these last few blocks you're just gonna build out towards that little block out here then for this final block you're actually going to be placing the chest here so now that you have um all these hoppers that are now going to lead to your chest okay so um now we have that done, you're going to choose where the button to activate all this stuff is going to be. Um, since I built it like this, I think I'm just going to... Like, ah, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm just going to have it be in a different room altogether. So I'm going to have it be right here. Okay, so um, I'm just outlining it really quick so I can set the perimeters in my room. Okay, um, so now you're going to pick where your button's going to be. I'm going to pick right here. Um, and it does not matter which type of button, it will not change anything. So um, now that you've done this, you're now going to go out and going to build the redstone out towards there. Now we're going to go back up here for just a minute, and we're going to place the, here, I'm going to actually, okay, I'm going to use this block for my um, wiring. So you're going to take the block that of your choosing, and you're going to place two blocks out behind each one of the dispensers. Okay, so now that you've done this, um, you're also going to need a redstone repeater. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to align it towards the dispensers. Um, you will not need to slow it down or anything like that. You just need to place down an original block. Or, like, you need to place it down as in its default state. Okay, so now you're going to connect these blocks like so. Not like that, but yeah, like this. So now um, you have corners set up. And then you're going to connect it like this. Okay, so now it's in like two different arrows, in a way. Um, so that's how it's supposed to look so far. Unless you didn't want to build it symmetrically. Um, so pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to find the corners and you're going to build block towers connecting directly into the corner. Okay, so now you should have, now it should look like this. Okay. Um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take a redstone torch and you're just going to constantly place a torch down all the way until you hit the ground. Okay, so the goal right now is to have the button like right here to be off. Um, if it is not off, you just keep building down into the ground and then you do what, then you, okay, well, I'll show you this, then I'll explain. So, now you want to dig one block lower, and you want to add a repeater, a redstone, whatever, this dust, and you're just going to kind of build a trail all the way back to your button, which is actually over here. So, uh, okay. Okay, so um, then you're going to do the same for the other tower. So now the torch should look like this. Uh, well, it should look the same.
Okay, so now we've done that. So now, if you press this button, the uh, things will light up, and they'll send the signal up to turn that torch on. Don't know if you caught that, it was kind of quick, but... So now what you're going to do is you're going to add your redstone dust all the way to the sides, connecting to every one of the repeaters. Okay, so now we and now it should look like this. Here's from a side view. Okay. Um before we begin this the next step, I am going to, we're gonna spawn you you wanna spawn signs. And this is gonna help keep the water from falling down into the room and all that. Plus it'll make it so you get your uh crop faster. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're going to align the whole thing with signs. So now, if water touches, it will just sit on top and not go straight down. Um, okay. So, now you're going to... Okay, so, you're going to spawn a bunch of... Bo uh, you need a lot of water buckets. And you're just going to put one in each dispenser. Okay, um, almost done. Okay, so now, um, what it should do, if you did this correctly, it should do this. All should dispense into the one center, and should not go straight through. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I had a feeling I missed that. Uh, so the corners also need to be uh, have water placed on them. Just a heads up. Okay, so, um... Oh, whoops. Um... Oh, I forgot this whole side, whoops. <laughs> okay, so now this is what it should look like. Without that. Okay, and then if you press the button again, it should easily turn them all back off. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to take your uh, hoe with some seeds of wheat, I guess, and you're just going to plant all of your crops. Okay, so now, um, your crop should be on every layer beyond the, uh, uh, dispensers. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and come back after I'm going to, I'm going to clean up this a little bit and let them grow, and then we shall see what we have made. Hey guys, so, um, I finally finished all of the stuff, um... So, this is what I ended up with. 
as you can see the farm is done and everything is ready so we're gonna go in and test it out also note to make if you're putting the door next to the redstone make sure you put it above the door I made this mistake and actually killed craft half the crops while not even noticing so uh, don't don't activate that okay so here's my little view of the room and now I'm going to press this button to activate the crops so as you can see everything is harvesting and yeah so we already have all the stuff done so um thank you for watching my video and i'll see you all later and don't forget to check out the videos on the screen right now because at the top of the left you will um see a video on how to get to the top of the nether in minecraft to the right you'll see our new community channel eat plasma and at the bottom, there's a video on us beating the whole vault of glass on hard with only shotguns. So, um, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys later.